Hi guys, welcome to Art Therapy. I'm Megs. Um, hope everybody's doing great. I'm going to try to get this done quick. How many times have you heard me say that? <laughs> no, but I really want to have a smaller, a shorter video hopefully. Um, I just had a couple more things to share with you guys so I can be done with all the haul stuff. Um, first of all, I want to say hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I've gotten a whole bunch of new subscribers just in the last day because of, um, I, I mean, a couple of people I haven't seen before, but there's been a few I think came from um, Jessica's channel. Um, I'm a cool mom. You may have heard of her. <laughs> She's kind of a big deal. No, I love her channel. She's been one of my favorite junk journal makers for years, and I've learned a lot from her. Um, but she shared a happy mail that I sent to her, and I think some people came over from her channel, so thank you. That was, like, so kind. Definitely wasn't expecting that, but I really appreciate it, and um, welcome, everybody. No matter where you came from, by the way. <laughs> um, so, uh, I'm going to show you a couple things from Etsy and then Dollar Store, actually. Let's do the Dollar Store stuff first, because I found some really cool stuff. Um, I'm hoping you can see okay and everything's good. I didn't do a camera check. I should have. My camera keeps slipping. <laughs> In the last video, it, um, by the end of it, my legs were showing, which I apologize. I haven't cleaned up around myself, so I'm hoping that's not, <laughs> not showing. Okay, so uh, this is a new thing I've been kind of obsessed with buying at the dollar store. <laughs> Go figure. Me obsessed with buying stuff? Come on. Um, but it's um, calendars. Their images are so awesome, um, and Dollar Store has a f actually a great selection. I'll show you one thing that I made. Of course, I actually didn't plan on showing it, so I didn't think about it. So let me find it. <laughs> here we go, unorganized. I think it's right here. <clears throat> yeah. So here's one piece of ephemera that I made using um, a Dollar Store images, uh, or the calendar images from the dollar store. So let me just show you some of these first. So these images are fantastic. Um, the smaller, a couple of these came with a free mini. So for a dollar I got like um, the scenic beauty and this. And um, so I'll start with that. Let me move this so you can see. Um, so this is really cool because even though these are really big images, you can you know, cut them down and use like a quarter of it and that would still be a cool image. Um, you can use it big like that and do like a big poster or something if you're doing like a giant collage. I mean, look at these images. I, you know, one thing I really love to watch is Dee Dee. And um, she does so, you know, she's an amazing artist. But I love how she takes scenic views like this. She has different magazines and books and things like that have scenic, um, what is the one called that she uses? Um, I think it's called Abandoned Places or something like that. Very cool. You can get it on Amazon. But she'll take a picture like this and then she'll add a whole bunch of stuff to it to collage. And it's just so cool. So I really liked this particular magazine for that. Or magazine. Um, calendar for that. Because there's just plain, you know, it's just a plain scenic view. I could add a dog here. I could add a person here. You know, I can add a spaceship coming out of the sky aliens walking around, <laughs> whatever I wanted. But look at that image. Is that like scream fairy to you or like gnome or woodland secret, I don't know, secret magical forest. <laughs> um, but yeah, very cool images. And then not only do you get the big image, this is what I usually cut out and use, um, the back thumbnails. So they're like perfect. And on the big magazine, uh, keep calling it a magazine, excuse me. Um, the big calendars, you know, they're about a couple of inches big. Actually, I have a ruler. They are exactly two inches. <laughs> so they're two by two on this particular one. This one's a little bigger. But that's a perfect size to, you know, take it off and use it for a junk journal. And then the mini ones are super cute. Um, these are probably, what, an inch or half an inch, something like that. And then the pictures in here are perfect for a junk journal, you know that could go on one side, make it, cut it, make it a pocket, sew around it, whatever. You can add some ephemera to it, add some um, words, some script, you can rip it and collage with it, whatever. But aren't these just beautiful? I love these images. They're so, this is why I got this. I knew there's waterfall in this one. 
and I was so excited because a lot of people ask me for waterfalls in their journal. Um, you know, even though their journals aren't waterfall themed, they always, I've had like four people say, um, can you add a waterfall? Which is cool. I wouldn't have thought waterfall, but I, I love the idea. So now I got some more waterfall images. <laughs> so that's this one, Scenic Beauty and Landscapes. Those came together, I believe. Um, and then we have flowers and, uh-oh, the butterflies fell. Oh, let me grab the butterflies. It fell over here. I'm so sorry. Oh, goodness, come on. <laughs> and then it was slippery and I couldn't pick it up. Okay, so the flowers came with this adorable butterflies calendar. So again, for a dollar, at this is from Dollar Tree. I got this flowers one with these beautiful images. Um, I mean, look at the rose. Isn't that beautiful? Hopefully, I you know, I just realized I might not have... I don't remember if I had the picture down here or up there when I was showing you guys. I hope I didn't have it facing up. That would be stupid. <laughs> Oh gosh, sometimes I don't think. I'm standing and I can see, obviously, right here like this and I just wasn't using my brain. So on this one, you get, the, you know, these big beautiful images and then of course the thumbnail on the back. But yeah, just really pretty pictures. I'm not going to go through all of them. You get the picture. They're flowers. Beautiful flowers. And the back is this. So that's all the flowers that are in this one. Really pretty. And again, I think these are two by two or maybe a little smaller. And then the butterflies one is super cute. It's so perfect, um, the size. I love the size of these photos. They're beautiful. So lots of pretty butterflies to use. I'm obsessed with butterflies still. It's like a fad that won't go out, you know? People get tired of, I feel like people, like a while back, a couple years ago, the fairy journals were super popular, and then it kind of died out, and it's like vintage, 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 and then it was like circus, and a lot of people were doing circus at the same time. I feel like that's, like, trends happen, but I feel like the one thing that stands, like, and, and then we recycle ideas, too, like I see fairy journals coming back, and I feel like it just happens, like we don't plan it, it just happens like that, but one thing that I, I have seen constantly during my very short junk journal, um, um, ordeal here, <laughs> what am I trying? Um, my junk journal venture, if you will, is that butterflies have been a constant, you know, people love butterflies in their journals, um, yeah, anyways, I'm just rambling, but <laughs> aren't those pretty, so beautiful, so that's that one, and then there's another flower one, that's blossoms, and you know, actually, I don't know, this might have came with the Blossoms one, now that I'm thinking about it. I can't really remember. They all got mixed up because I opened all the packages. But these are really pretty. So we got this one. Oh, I love that one. This one. i show you a couple more. Ooh, pretty. Pretty, pretty tulips. And there's another one. So and then the back looks like that. Isn't that beautiful? So I think, oh, there's one more. This one I think I'm done. Okay, and then this one is landscapes. And I thought this one was really cool. Another cool one to have like a blank canvas if I wanted to do some collaging on it or mixed media. I mean, that would be so perfect just to add things onto it. So I think I might go watch a DD one day when I have some free time. Haha, <laughs> if I ever finish this fairy journal, look at that. I'm going to use that probably for this journal. When I finally finish it, I'm going to do some things like maybe watch one of Dee Dee's videos where she does stuff like, you know, add adds to her abandoned book and stuff. And um, I love to learn, you know, different techniques and see how her brain works when she's doing that uh, and try it myself. That would be really fun. So, yeah, so there's those. Um, and they had a lot, a lot more. And then, what else? This is from Dollar Store. I was so excited but bummed at the same time. So in my friend, or in my friend, in Jessica's Happy Mail, I did find these butterflies and sent them to her. But I only found the Monarchs and these ones at the Dollar Tree. And then I had bought some for myself and for somebody else. And then they ran out. Um, and they hadn't, that, like their first batch that they got, I bought so many and gave so many away. And then this, and then they never restocked for over a month until just yesterday. So just yesterday they restocked 
and um, they had two of each left when she's like, I just put those out and people have already like picked them up. Like people are looking for this, like they know they're there. And um, so I was like, oh, I'll just buy the rest. <laughs> so I bought everything they had because she's like, you know, this is the one thing that isn't coming in very fast. Um, and I was like, okay, so I'll just purchase them all. It's just a bummer because I really wanted to send Jessica these. I mean, I still could, but um, the, the blue ones and green ones are my favorite. They're absolutely stunning. I mean, the pink ones are beautiful. And actually the Monarch ones, these ones, are the ones I've used the most. I've used them several Okay, on several occasions, and in my last journal, um, if you look at that flip through, the nature one, you will see a lot of these in there. But these are just so beautiful. They really are. There's a big giant one, which is really cool to use. You can fold it and use it in, at, like in the pages as the pages turn, or in like glue a top and bottom down, use it as a tuck spot, if that makes sense. <laughs> Um, but they're just absolutely stunning. So I do have some for my giveaway. We're almost to 400 and these will be going in to the 400 giveaway. Um, I'm going to keep a pack of green for myself and I think a pack of pink, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to give these away, these three in the giveaway. So that'll be exciting. Let's get to 400. Woohoo! <laughs> um, and then we have... I just picked up these. It wasn't a whole bunch of stuff, but um, I already bought the bigger ones. They have bigger stickies like this. Here they are. And I thought at first, hmm, those are cute. And I don't know if they look good on paper. Sometimes you buy stuff and you're like, oh, that's cute. And then you never use it. But I liked it so much. And I was like, man, I wish I had smaller ones. And they did have the smaller ones at the Dollar Tree. And they're like pastel colors. I think they're so pretty. And this is what they look like on this piece of ephemera that I made. Um, these little bubbles, aren't they cute? And um, and then this is what I was going to show you on the inside. I did this epic background. I love this background. I put it on my Instagram um, before I did, you know, the papers that I stuck down, which this is kind of wrinkled. It's, I didn't smooth it out while it was wet, so it's a little bit wrinkled, but that's okay. Um, but this is from a Tea Time magazine, which I've already kind of cut it up, so I haven't I didn't have it over here to show you, but um, the first, I'm kind of all over the place, I'm so sorry. The first calendar that I bought was a little mini Tea Time magazine, and it was a big one and then that I wasn't really going to use, and then the, the mini Tea Time magazine, or ah, calendar, I'm so sorry, was inside, and that's what I bought it for because there were so many... Um, beautiful tea images and I'm doing a tea journal so a tea and fairy journal um so on this side I put the teacup and actually these were in different um pictures I just kind of put them together so there's like a spoon with some I don't know what that is a sugar cube on it I think there's a some dried flowers in a cup next to this cup of tea and some cinnamon and then I cut this off the cover and then the background I did um, gesso I did the Tim Holtz um, stamps that I absolutely am obsessed with lately I've been using them quite a bit <laughs> and I'm using them together they just look so good together this is the um, reflections so everything's backwards it's really cool at first I was like well, I didn't know that it was backwards when I bought it because I just wasn't paying attention I should have looked at the name, right? Um, but I just saw the I saw these numbers actually, and I was like, oh, I want that in the text. So when I got it, I was like, why do I want this backwards writing? But it's so cool; it looks really good together. Um, and then I just took for the colors. I actually used my Neo twos, which I don't use very often, and I love how they came out. They came out so good. I just kind of, you know. Um, was watching Marta from Marami Small Art and she just really inspired me. She always does. And so I just took out my Neos and, you know, scribbled a little bit and poured some water, you know, took my brush and let water drip down. For the black, I think I used a little bit of paint. I also used a lot of my Stabilo All Pencil. Um, I don't have my black one over here, but I have brown, black, blues. Stabilo all pencils are so great. And that's what I used for the shadow as well, all around. Just Stabilo all pencil. And I think that might be the drip too. And then this is um, Fitzgerald's The Fairy Painter, and this is from Mrs. Coggs. Um, if you can see that image, it's kind of dark. 
but I just thought it went good on this page and I sewed around it and I just I like to cut out these little page numbers off of different things books or this is off of the page that I printed out um, I just think it looks cute and yeah just did the stampings in the background on top of the colors and gesso and this is a little pocket and it'll go inside the book like this so they won't be you know together you'll see something else on this side um, and then yeah that's on top of the on the back of this fairy scrapbook paper the graphic 45 <clears throat> so that's what you know just one idea you can do with the beautiful calendars and then the other quick thing I wanted to show you um, is a couple of Etsy shares this shop is great and I'm going to look and see what it's called because I forgot <laughs> um, it's called the World Vintage Shop on Etsy and um, I will of course put the link below now I am going to be doing a Japanese journal or actually like a few of them together and selling them hopefully before I have to move and before I sell my house um, I just gotta get this fiery journal done but anyways um, Yes, so I bought these vintage stamps. Um, she had really good deals on them. And it was 10 large Japanese used stamps. And unfortunately, there was only five. These five, aren't they beautiful though? Inside the package. So, and but I love them. I mean, I was like, oh, so excited when I saw them. I can't wait to use these on my jelly prints. Um, following, I love to turn on a really good Robin McClendon video, and she inspires me like crazy. And then, um, anyways, I just was thinking uh, of using this inside like a jelly print book for the Japanese books. And um, aren't they just beautiful? I don't know if you can really see. It looks a little dark in the camera lens, so I'm hoping there's enough light. Ugh, that stresses me out. Anyways, I mentioned to her, I messaged the lady, and I can't remember her name offhand, and I just said, um, hi, I use, she sent them out very quick, by the way, super quick, I got them in like three days, which is really quick, especially right now with the mail, and I said, um, I got the package really quick, and they're beautiful, but I was kind of bummed out, because there's only five, and it said there was ten, um, just wondering if I can get the rest sent to me, or something like that, and she wrote me back like immediately and said, I am so sorry for the inconvenience. I'm refunding you and sending you another one. And by the time I got it, I like immediately wrote her back and was like, please do not refund my money. I do not need a refund. I just, you know, just send the five that you didn't send. Everybody does stuff like that. It happens. I mean, what are you going to do? I'm not mad. Um, I, I just wanted to make sure I got them. But I really appreciated it. And they came two days later and she did refund my money. So I got 15 stamps for free. Which I actually feel quite awful about. Ooh, I just sent, showed my address. <laughs> hey, my address. It's okay. I'm not worried about it. Um, But... Yeah, so I can't, I, I did send her a note and told her thank you and gave her a really great review, but I just can't thank her enough. I mean, that was just so sweet. I got all of these for free. It does make me feel bad. I do want to pay for them, but um, she gave them to me for free, so that was very nice of her. So the customer service is outstanding. The stamps come in like two days. The prices are fantastic, um, and look how beautiful these are. There's Geisha, gorgeous. Look, oh, that could be my favorite. But I say that about all of them. They're all so beautiful. These geishas, though, they're just stunning. I can't see where I'm at. And then look at the building. Oh, it's like absolutely beautiful. They're so, and I think it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's actually 11 in this one. Oh my gosh. She sent me more than 10. I didn't even look at these yet. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't believe she sent me more. I hope that was on purpose and not mistake. <laughs> no, <laughs> Like somebody's miscounting all over the place. No, I'm just kidding. Um, that is so nice of her. She did not have to do that. But, so yes, if you can, if you're interested, go look at the stuff that she has over at the World Vintage Shop. Because it is a really cool shop to look at, especially for junk journal stuff. <clears throat> oh no, there's 10. I thought I counted 11. So there was 10 in here. Good. I would have felt so bad. Um, so yeah, so I got 15 stamps. 
And then there's two more shops. Um, and this actually is probably not that interesting, but it's a really good deal. It's the best deal that I found. Um, you probably you might even have this like around your house or something. But the the prim chick boot prim is it prim chick or prime chic or prim chic? I don't know how to say it, but this <laughs> boutique here. Um, I wanted to get some of this. What is this called? Punchinella, I think it's called. I hope I'm saying that right, and I'm not stupid. Um, yeah, I don't have a receipt, but anyways, this was the cheapest I found it. I wanted this for my jelly plate, of course. Um, I'm sure you can do other things with it. I just, I don't know. It's like something I just recently heard of. And I felt stupid, like everybody knew about it but me. <laughs> but um, I see people use it on their jelly plates, and it looks so cool. And I'm like, okay, I need some of that. Um, so there was a, I ordered a yard of this and it was literally like a dollar something, but she got really sick and she couldn't send it. And it was like a month later, she messaged me and said, I'm so sorry. I couldn't even send your stuff. Do you want me to refund you? And I just told her, oh, I'm not worried about it at all. Send it whenever you're better. Unless you're, you know, unless you don't want to send, you know, if you're too sick to go out and you're not, you don't want to send anything, then I'm perfectly fine with a refund. It doesn't matter. Um, and she sent me not just one yard, she sent me two yards. <laughs> so that was really nice. So I got, or, or I ordered a half yard and got a yard. I don't know. She sent me double what I ordered. So that was really nice. She didn't have to do that either. So I will send, um, she's better now, by the way, <laughs> she said she's all better and she's, you know, on it with her mail. So if you're interested in that shop, again, it's the, oops, I think I showed you guys the prim, this. I don't know how to say it. This boutique, and that's on um, Etsy. Yep. So I will put the link to that below. And there's one more thing. Now this is so cute. I can't wait to show you guys. And I'm sure you might, you actually might have seen it before. But okay, let me put this over here. Um, there's a YouTube channel called May May Made It Crafts or May May Made It. And um, I have been to her shop a couple of times and never purchased anything, but I saw her video and she was showing these minty paper packs. Oh my gosh. I'm going to link the video below because you, you, if you do junk journals, you're going to want one of these. And I went straight to her shop the day she put these out and bought this one because I had to have it. And I'm so glad I did. It's awesome. So basically this is um, the minty papers. It's a shop out of your um, poor, Poland, I think, in Europe, I think it's Poland, yeah, Poland, I think that's where it's, it's, you know, yeah, Poland, sorry, um, so, yeah, but she sells these in her shop, and this is the flora book number two, so there must be a number one, which I did not see in her shop, I don't know if she has it, but if there is, I want it, <laughs> um, so she is in the south, I can't remember if it's Kentucky, I think she's from Kentucky, I don't know, um, I'm just full of useless information right now. I'm sorry. Uh, but she, her mail comes really quick and these were really good price. And so basically it's just flowers that you can cut out to use for ephemera. So fussy cut pieces and you get six different pastels or no, this is pastel, um, pastel one, and then you get pastel too. Look how beautiful these are, you guys. Are you serious? And they're double, like the back of the paper is colored. So, I mean, if you wanted to fold this in half and use it for a card, you could, and you know, I don't know. But anyways, the back is pretty for what it's worth. Um, yeah, pastel two. Then there's mixed tones one. Love it. And then there's mixed tones two, which is my favorite. And then there's leaves in company one and leaves in co two. And so that's, what, six pages? And then you get, like, three or four sets of those particular pages. So it's six different pages of flowers that you can cut out, but you get three sets of them. And um, that's really convenient, if, especially if you like a particular one, like, flower a lot, and you want, like, three of them, then you, you get three of them, you know? So that's really cool. I've already cut into the mixed tones, too, because it matches my junk journal I'm doing. Um... But yeah, so they're just really fun and really, really pretty. Um, she did have a tag booklet like this. There was a tag one. There was, um, I don't know if it's insects or butterflies. I think it was in different insects, I think. Um, something to that effect, creatures. <laughs> um, and then Flora 2, and then there's a tag book 
in her shop for sure. I don't know if she's added more to that since, but this is the one I picked out. Um, and then I did go to this website, but it is in Europe, so, you know, I don't know what she, if you want to buy stuff from Europe right now, that kind of thing, how long it would take, but I saw a bunch of these kinds of books. Um, you know, more than what uh, Maymay could, could, you know, put in her shop. Um, it might have changed. This has been well over a month ago, almost a month and a half ago, I think. So, you know, who knows? She could have more, for all I know. Um, she could have less. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but uh, nevertheless, I'll put the link below. And I think that's it. Oh, I did pick these up, and I wasn't sure if I showed you. If you do it, this last thing, if you do a jelly plate, I wanted to tell you, some people that are new to jelly plates, um, and they are, if you're looking for a texture plate, or a text, yeah, texture plate for jelly printing. Um, I did notice when I started, and I was looking for the texture plates. I noticed they're like fifteen dollars a piece or more for one texture plate, and they they're usually like a little bigger than this. And I'm like, wow, that's expensive. So I went to the store, and I've been buying these. I have a ton of them. Um, these are just for paper clay, and they're double sided, and you get. You know, so you get this beautiful image on this side and this side. They're bendy, just like the, you know, ones that are made for the jelly plate. And you get, you know, so essentially out of these three texture plates, you get six images. And, I mean, this was on sale for $7 for all of these. I mean, you can't beat that. I tried it on the jelly plate, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Of course, I didn't put the paper next to me. I'm sorry to show you guys, but they work beautifully. So if you see any kind of texture plates, even the plastic ones, I've showed them on my jelly printing video. I'm sure I moved you guys. <laughs> oh, here they are. Sorry. I want to get them out and show this. <clears throat> even these plastic ones, which you can find at like Hobby Lobby. For sure. Um, maybe even Michael's. I'm not sure. I think I got these at Michael's. Um, and on sale in the clearance. And then these were from Hobby Lobby. And they came in like, I think this is three different packs worth. If I'm not mistaken. And it's hard to see on camera. But you can see all the paint on it. These are just flimsy, kind of flimsy. So I put them on a ring. But um, they work beautifully on the texture plate. Or on the jelly plate. And, you know, the... Um, it shows you what they are too. Like one is like a basket weave. I have honeycombs. I have rope. Um, there's waves or swirlies. I have flowers and snowflakes. Um, this is just like a swirly do. This is like a, I don't know what that would be, maybe a wood grain texture or something. There's stars. Um, that beautiful, I don't know what you would call that because I can't think. Um, it has a name, but I can't think, but it's beautiful, <laughs> if you could see that. And then this is like the fish scales. So, they work really, really nicely on the texture plate, or on the, I keep calling the texture plate, I'm sorry, on the jelly plate, it's late. <laughs> so, um, just to save yourself some money, I'm not trying to put anybody who actually has the, um, the texture the texture plates that are for the jelly plate, I'm not saying don't ever buy those. Um, obviously, especially people who design them and things like that, I definitely love supporting artists and people who make things for us to use. But I'm just saying there are people who just can't afford it. I know I'm, I can't go, you know, afford to go buy a, 20, a 15 to 20 dollar texture plate for one, you know, for my jelly plate that I won't use all the time because you want a variety, you know. So especially if you like variety, these are just extremely, extremely affordable and definitely worth your while. So God, I love the jelly plate. <laughs> all right, I'm going to get to work and um, oh, wait, there was one more thing. Of course there is. I did want to show you this. While we're talking about jelly plate, I'm so sorry. I'm so unorganized. Um, this, I'm sure a lot of people, I've seen this all over. Um, these are just the mats that you can get in the kitchen section at the Dollar Tree. And these are so good for the jelly plate as well. They go down so nicely. They leave the imprints like a stencil. You can spray and put the little squares on. You know, it'll add squares to your um, jelly print. You can also use it like if you want to cut. You can use it on paper or whatever as a stencil. So it's very convenient and um, leaves really cool marks. So that's a good mark making tool. Another good find at the dollar store and, and my last one, I promise, 
are these squirt bottles. Now, I went there to get, oops, and there's something in it. I went there to get the tall squirt bottles, the, um, you know, the tall plasticky clear ones, and they didn't have any, but I found all of these, um, you know, tin or whatever this is, <laughs> what, um, little hairspray bottles in with the hair products. Actually, it was by the soap and the toilet paper and stuff. Um, in my store so but I got one in each color and I actually ended up using it all of them at once it was a really good find and and um, I used it for my printing my eco dyeing I just added some dye in each one and um, I will show you that in the next video so <laughs> I'll save that for the next one thank you so much for joining me it's very late here I hope you guys have a blessed day I appreciate you stopping by if you like this video of course I would be so grateful if you subscribed um, thumbs up comments are so appreciated helping me grow um, just makes me feel so good inside <laughs> thank you so much everybody have a blessed day and I will see you in the next video bye